Hello everybody, my name is Zeke Gibson and I'll be presenting the triple point of water. The scientific question I will be answering is whether or not it is possible for water to boil naturally while also containing frozen ice. Now, I could simply place ice cubes in boiling water and say done, but I don't want the ice to melt away. So what can I do to create an environment where the ice can exist together with the boiling water? And I'm sure as all of you are aware, materials can exist typically in three phases. You have your solid, your liquid, and your gas. Um, and in this particular experiment, water is a gas above 100 degrees Celsius, is a solid below zero degrees Celsius, and a liquid in between those two temperatures. And I'm sure you also know that. But how can all of these occur simultaneously? Well, we're aware that steam is hot and ice is obviously cold, and when steam is chilled, it turns into water, which, if chilled further, turns into ice. In order for the triple point of water to ensue, we, in technical terms, would need ice-cold steam. And one way to achieve this is by controlling the pressure through a gas chamber. I started by placing corks on the base of the gas chamber to elevate the petri dish so that it was not interfering with the gas chamber's pressure reduction. I then placed the petri dish on the corks and poured ice cold water into the dish. The reason for pouring ice cold water and not room temperature water is that the closer the substance is to its freezing point, the quicker it will reach the triple point. For the sake of the experiment's length and due to the quality of my gas chamber, this was a necessary experimental adjustment. After placing chilled water in the gas chamber, we can begin adjusting the pressure. As we decrease the pressure, the boiling point of water decreases with it, while the freezing point rises ever so slightly. After some experimental analysis, we learned that in a closed system under 0.006 atmospheres of pressure, we have an environment where the boiling point drops from 100 degrees Celsius to 0.01 degrees Celsius. And simultaneously, the freezing point rises, like I said, ever so slightly, from zero degrees Celsius to 0.01 degrees Celsius. In summary, or in other words, under a 0 0.006 atmospheres of pressure, we have a unique system where the freezing and boiling points are both 0 0.01 degrees Celsius. You see the water is boiling while also freezing. A pure substance other than water could also exhibit a similar state where all three phases coexist in thermodynamic equilibrium. This phenomenon only occurs at one specific combination of pressure and temperature, and is truly unique. Across all other combinations of temperature and pressure, a substance can only exist in one or two phases. The condition in which all three phases can coexist, which you can see here, is what the scientific community calls a triple point. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you now understand the phenomenon we call triple point. To briefly describe one experimental error I ran into, the quality of the triple point or amount of boiling and freezing that you see here depends on the stability of the gas chamber. In other words, because my gas chamber was not as high quality as others, it was much more difficult to maintain the steady pressure at which the triple point was occurring. Thanks again.